morning, you know who released a video where he claimed he was going to give his stance on abortion rights in America. Take a look. I was proudly the person responsible for the ending of something that all legal scholars, both sides, wanted and, in fact, demanded be ended. Roe v. Wade. It must be remembered that the Democrats are the radical ones on this position because they support abortion up to and even beyond the ninth month. The states will determine by vote or legislation or perhaps both, and whatever they decide must be the law of the land. Like Ronald Reagan, I am strongly in favor of exceptions for rape, incest, and life of the mother. Always go by your heart, but we must win. Yeah. Can I just point out that normally, after the ninth month, (laughs) the baby is born. You do also know that it is against the law passed quite a a bit in, much more than you're aware, but nobody is doing that. I'm not sure I understand. And you're bragging about this. Yeah. 50 years I've had this right. And here you've snatched this right out of my hands. You've taken my right as a woman to make decisions about myself and you're bragging to me and you want me to give you my vote? You know, you know anything that he says could be translated to the following. Because he doesn't have any principles. Right. He doesn't yeah. believe in anything. God knows what he's done in his past, by the way. So you translate everything he says into... Please vote for me yes. and put me in the White House and keep me out of Leavenworth. Yes. <laughs> because that is his... Pro- People have to remember this. He has no interest in any of you or us. No. He no. only wants to stay out of prison now. He's like yeah. Netanyahu has the same problem. Yes. yes. And the Israelis are turning on him for the same reason. Yeah. And Americans are going to go to the polls and get rid of him this year. I believe that now. Yeah. I believe it. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, you're absolutely right. I think... I, I, he, he needs to be elected before he gets put in prison. That, right? that's so that's his, his main goal. That's his fundraising goal. That's everything. And by the way, I believe that he's ran for president to make money. I think so, And too. now he's well, running to stay out of jail. To stay out of jail. So I think those, those are, are the his two motivations. Drivers. And also, he is morally bankrupt, right? He's a morally bankrupt person, and I still don't understand the evangelicals getting behind him, people of faith getting behind him, women getting behind him. They watch Fox. I don't, it must be that. I don't understand that. And I also actually don't understand his position on this social media post that all legal scholars agree with him. All right. legal scholars right. do not agree yeah, with right. you. So Trump does rightfully acknowledge that abortion right now is a huge political loser for Republicans. And I want to say clearly, I want Donald Trump to lose in November, no question. But what he's doing here is actually a little more strategic than it may come off. People were pushing for him to say, go with a 15-week ban. That would be the compromise. The problem is the right would say it was a betrayal because 15 weeks is too long, would be their argument. And then Democrats would be able to say he supported a federal ban. Now he's punting responsibility to governors. So we're going to be talking a lot about Florida in this upcoming mm-hmm. six-week ban. He's going to be, that's Ron DeSantis's problem. That's not mine. It's classic Trump kind of trying to be everything to anyone. Mm-hmm. And my warning is this with voters. They've showed they could separate the Republican politician from their position on abortion. Mm-hmm. So in Ohio, Kansas, and Kentucky, there have been a, a ballot initiatives to support abortion rights, and they've supported it but then gone on to vote for Republicans on that very same ballot. But do you it doesn't make that? sense, do but that's happened. Do you actually believe that he yeah. would do that? I think if he were in the office, he would just over, have it overthrown altogether. Oh, I, I, a national ban on it. That's why I don't believe anything he says. You can, I, don't I don't believe, believe anything, believe anything, anything he, says. he says. And yeah. the, mo- the biggest thing he did was uh, the Supreme Court justices in overturning Roe v. Wade. Because right now, when we talk about the six-week ban here in Georgia and Florida, That's actually the best policies we're seeing because 14 states, 14 Mm -hmm. have complete bans with very few exceptions. Mm -hmm. So when he speaks about the law legally and some of the legal experts, Mm -hmm. when it initially was established, there was some debate over whether the Supreme Court justice should be legislating through something like that. There was never all agreement. No, but 50 years later... The agreement among many legal scholars as well was that it was a precedent and even close to a super precedent. So, but what right he has done, right. yeah, the right Roe to v. have Wade, it, Roe yeah. v. Wade, mm-hmm. that rolling it back for states sounds like a pleasant idea until you see what the states want to do. 
So I think people need to remember this when they go to the ballot boxes, because I'm comfortably in New York yeah. and comfortably past yeah, but that. They, but, <laughs> you can, but, I, but I mean, my point here is there are states where women are going to need this help and be able to have that choice. They, you know, they're worried about uh, immigrants coming into uh, these cities. Wait till these women start coming into uh, cities that allow abortion. It's going to be flooded with women. What? You mean when they relocate yes. to yeah. get the yes. housing? Yes, If they can even get out of their state, because these women don't even have money to leave Travel. Texas well, or whatever to come to New Keep York. in mind, these have been put in place for a reason. All of these laws, you are not obligated to have an abortion. No one is obligated to have an abortion. So no. you never have to have one. And I, I hope no one ever has to have one. But if you find yourself in a position where you have to, I want to make sure, and I'm way past having kids. Mm -hmm. I want to make sure, mm -hmm. yes, mm -hmm. way past. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make sure that if you decide this is what you need to do, I'm going to get behind you because I don't know your life. And if you say this is what you need, that's what I'm going to do. 50 weeks, 75,000 weeks, whatever, how many weeks, it's nobody's business. It's you, your doctor, and God. That's who you have to be conversational to. And it's not mentioned in the, in the Big Ten. I'm just going to say. No. In the Big Ten, it is not meant. The commandments? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, because no. I figure if God was pretty clear. Here's the stuff that'll make your life better on earth. Here's the thing. Don't lie, because you don't want people lying to you. Don't mess with somebody's wife, because you're going to be mad if they're messing with yours. Be just, you know, be common sense would, stuff. Would say, thou shalt not kill. They believe that. Yes, well, here's the thing. I think thou shalt not kill cannot be used as the, as, the, as the block because we allow wars all the time. Yes, we do. The cru crusades we allow the death were about yeah. all these things. We so, allow guns. Yes. So there is some conversation to be had here. So you can either you, thou shalt not kill yep. for everybody. Yes. And everything. And everything. And everything. Or we have to talk about all the things that you and I yes. need to do. And I have to, yes, I, I need to give legal. you time to do this. I have a legal Keep note. A straight face. Oh. Trump has denied any wrongdoing and has pleaded not guilty to all charges. <laughs> <laughs>